What's going on everybody? Brian here from Brian's Broadcast. I hope all of you are doing fantastic. Today I have a beautiful fragrance from the house of Scents of Wood. If you have been following me on this page on YouTube or on my Instagram, link is in the description, or if you already see my posts from my Facebook page or my posts in the various groups, you already know what the fragrance is. And of course, the title tells you, of course, you saw that. And in case you did not, the name of the fragrance is called Mineral Sitter. And it's from the House of Scents of Wood, a beautiful packaging right here. So that's recyclable paper and the plug is of wood. And you see how beautifully it's laser etched, I believe. It's a detailed wooden plug that shows you the name of the fragrance house right here with the logo and the name of the fragrance. Pretty simplistic box, very simple. And the fragrance sits right there inside, as you can see. Let's show, put this away. Um, here's the beautiful bottle, as you saw it. Very nice texture. And again, this is not leather or anything. This is like a textured uh, painted bottle. So it's the color doesn't come off right away. So, you know, like it's good, very good quality. The cap looks like a trees branches like the main branches that's heading up but more or less this kind of looks like a heart right like a heart shape i don't know it's it's beautiful phenomenal stuff so the cap again has quite some weight to it the bottle's pretty light i would say and the cap very nicely and tightly sits on the on the top but again because 75 mils of this fragrance costs around 240 dollars it's not at a lower price range i would be really careful with these bottles so enough with the presentation, let's talk about the fragrance itself. Let me read out the notes. So in this fragrance, again, there's no like top, mids or anything with the base. Let me first tell you the notes and then I'm going to try and describe the fragrance as best as I can. So you have Gaiac wood, juniper berries, olibinum, sandalwood, tonka bean, cypress, bergamot, lavender, amber tonic, caraway, and watery notes now guys let me tell you something this fragrance when i first saw it right i was under the impression because it has the name in its name mineral i don't know if you can see it mineral and sitter so of course sitter gave me the impression right away that it, it has like a lot of woody notes to it and because like sense of wood is a house that focuses mainly on woody notes the usage of aromatic woods in fragrances so I was under the impression when it said mineral, I was under the impression it might smell something like Tom Ford's Wood Mineral, a beautiful, phenomenal fragrance, absolute favorite of mine. And this is my first ever Tom Ford. If you have seen this review, link is in the top. You can check it out. So Mineral Sitter, when I first sprayed it, the immediate essence was... It has this beautiful smoky, so I believe it's coming from the cedar wood. Like sometimes cedar wood comes off as smoky and dry woody kind of uh, uh, aroma. And then there's the presence of gaiac wood, which kind of gives you that sweet, dry. And then again, there's a tad bit of hint of smokiness from it. It's a beautiful feeling. The immediate opening is kind of like smoky and very freshly cut woods. So imagine you walked into a forest and maybe you were doing something, some work or something. You chopped down some fresh aromatic wood like cypress, like a cedar tree or some, something. Or there's the cypress uh, leaves that you, you just crushed under your boots or something. There's a phenomenal and very peaceful kind of aroma coming from this fragrance. Now, also because... It has those mineral notes and by mineral notes and as you can see from the uh, ingredients the notes that I just read out so they do have some of that watery note so imagine that forest being very close to an ocean like a sea beach or something and the ocean breeze is coming in again mineral wood uh, sorry mineral cedar is by no means a salty kind of fragrance it's very soothing does not have any saltiness to it, although it says mineral, but I believe it's mostly because of the oceanic kind of vibe that it tries to replicate. But this fragrance, again, mostly focused on fresh woods. Drying down, this fragrance becomes a whole different thing. So in the opening, like I said, it's dry, freshly cut woods, and then there's a tad bit of smokiness, which settles down very quickly, 
and then transforms into something that's very creamy, dry, and woody. The use of sandalwood and tonka bean over here, just it's just phenomenal. So the tonka bean and the sandalwood kind of resembles almost like a gourmand, creamy, woody vibe. Again, it's very dry. It's not something that's, you know, has that juicy kind of uh, feeling. Again, because there's the presence of bergamot and you might think like, hey, um, there's a presence of bergamot. So do you have that freshy kind of vibe? There is freshness, but this bergamot gives you that tad bit of bitterness. The freshness, again, it mixes with the freshness from the wood and again from the citrus, but the citrus is not detectable like there is absolutely no citrus i never found detected any citrus from this fragrance this thing i'm pretty sure it's working like a background thing and it's working in a whole different dimension so it's giving you that freshness like an uplifting woody like a nice freshly cut woody kind of feel but the citrus note is like absent almost you don't detect it like that the usual citrus that you're expecting the lavender is a beautiful floral mild lavender not that spicy or sharp lavender which you know you usually find in barbershop kind of fragrances that old school vibe that you might get you might expect it's never like that it's a very light mild floral kind of lavender and it's beautifully done the olibinum and everything kind of gives you that like an almost that tad bit smoky thing and then the creamy dry down is just heavenly this fragrance, you know, like um, Sense of Wood gives you this beautiful chart. I don't know if you can see it right. It's, it's right here. So they have this chart where, where they show you like which fragrance does what. Like, is it like floral? Is it like more dense? Is it more boozy, more gourmand? Mineral Sitter is something that's on the lighter side of things. It's somewhere in between. So this thing is more like a re reapplicable kind of a fragrance. And because like it's mostly targeted during for the warmer months, I don't think this thing is, is going to last in the winter months or colder days. But during the warmer months here in New York City also, I tried this and the longevity was somewhere in between like five to six hours. Do not expect too much out of this fragrance. And I tried this thing consistently like the commute from my house to the office so it's like train bus public transportation sometimes i sweat and the temperatures in new york city you know like it's there and there it's all over the place so i've had the opportunity to test it out so i would say on an average there were days where it lasted longer but there were days it lasted less so i would say on an average five to six hours would be a good you know like a good point where you know it's safe to say like yes it lasts around that longevity time and mineral sitter is something that's more intimate it does not project too much is it does not wraps wrap you in like a huge scent bubble it stays very very close to your skin it's more of an intimate nature imagine your lover is very close to you that warm breath it has this beautiful ambery warm amberiness to it as well so imagine during the summertime you get this fresh breezy air flowing from the ocean and then you get this freshly cut wood kind of aroma and this beautiful creamy almost gourmand kind of sandalwood tonka bean combination drying down it's a phenomenal fragrance especially in the dry down very smooth very creamy and very dry woods phenomenal stuff i would say if you can shell out 240 dollars for a 75 ml bottle by all means is it like something you should own i would recommend yes you should try at least get a sample they usually have let me quickly grab this um they usually sell 10 ml sizes from their website this is a whole different fragrance it's called santal umeshu i will be reviewing this later but uh, for now you can like rather than breaking your bank and then you know being disappointed or something you can try this one in that 10 ml size it's a great fragrance, I must say. Definitely doable in the summer months, in the in the heat heat of summer. It's very doable, very safe for the office, or if you're hanging out with your friends, or you're going out on a date, or an intimate kind of situation, this is the way to go. Beautiful stuff. Hands down. I was super happy. This was a blind buy again, but I was really happy because this fragrance really is phenomenal. So guys, let me know in the comment section which ones do you own? Do you have this one? Do you have Mineral Sitter or any other fragrance from the House of Sense of Wood? 
If you like them, what are your experiences? Let me know all of it. I'm ready to explore more. I do have the other fragrance like you just saw one. I have another one, the most popular one, of course, Plum and Cognac. Who wants to miss out on that, right? So that was my take. If you like this content, make sure you hit the thumbs up and you're subscribed to this channel for more upcoming reviews. Until the next video, please take care, stay safe and all the best.